Hi guys, this is The Advisor and welcome back to my channel. Now, night before last night, I got a call from one of my fans. He lives overseas and he was relating a certain issue to me and he needed my advice and I gave him that advice. Now, I don't want to put out his specific case here now because there's no need to. Because I have had a similar case that I had handled way back in 2016 on my The Advisor column on Facebook. So, for, as for, for you newcomers who just come in <laughs> knowing about The Advisor, yes, I've been doing this for many years. Anyway, based on what this young, young man had said to me and what we discussed, I decided to reach back for a similar case that I had had do, then and I want the ladies what I'm saying is for the ladies because now this and what I'm trying to do is to save a few marriages hopefully I can make some wives and husbands very happy if you just listen to me and take in what I have to say there if your simulation if your situation is anyway close to this now this video will be of some help now listen to this particular case now this is a letter i got from a lady who is an a very bright very intelligent lady and this is her story greetings i'm a 37 year old american of jamaican extract i am a corporate executive with a multinational corporation headquarters here in new york my husband and i have been together for eight years and married for six we each brought one child to the marriage and have none together both boys live with us he is a considerate caring supportive and understanding man and is always pushing me to achieve my very best i love this man dearly However, my world came crashing down two months ago when he walked out of the house to live with our former helper, who is a Jamaican. How could he do, do this to me? We never had a quarrel or a fuss. He just up and went. The reason why we employed her was that when we met, he was employed by a company and worked a normal 40-hour week. However, because of my much longer hours, he would dress and feed the boys and drop them off at school before going to work. In the evenings, he would pick them up from school, cook dinner, and supervise them till I get home. That arrangement worked well until two years ago when he quit his job and started his own business, which required him to do longer hours. In order to keep things running smoothly, we hired a helper and was we hired a helper who was great at preparing jamaican foods she also did some light housework and supervised the boys till one of us get in she lived out and i paid her well in order to spend more time with my husband i even arranged for the helper to prepare meals for the weekends before leaving on friday this was to give us more time together on the weekends when i'm home as for her, if I go and buy a dress or a shoes or a purse or a blouse for myself, I usually buy one for her too. This is the ultimate betrayal because I treated her like a sister. I want my husband back. We spoke recently and I brought up the matter of him coming home, but he refuses to discuss this, that topic. How can I even try to get him back when I don't even know exactly what went wrong? What I cannot understand is how can a motorcycle mechanic leave an ambitious, intelligent, well-educated, solvent social climber like myself for a cook? What do men really want, Xavier? Please tell me. Also, is there any way you can think I might be able to get him back? Sincerely, and she signed her name, Laverne. I don't know if that's her real name. Well, this was my response to her.
I can totally understand the turmoil you are living through right now, but don't blame either of these two persons. Based on the circumstances set out in your letter, a significant portion of the blame is yours. I'll tell you why. You see, my dear, society has been lying to you. You have been taken in by the message of these feminists and other loathsome women filled with penis envy. They drummed it into your head that as long as you are ambitious, educated, independent, and is climbing the social ladder and the corporate ladder, it automatically makes you a good cash. Sorry, my dear, it does not. Being a such an educated woman, I'm sure you would be familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Well, whatever you had achieved in terms of self-actualization was not done for anyone, much less your husband. You did all that for you. Therefore, for you to be wondering why a motorcycle mechanic is not standing in awe over the success of his high-flying corporate executive wife is totally missing the point. Don't forget that by minding the kids, managing the household, and seeing that you get a hot meal when you come home in the evening, he has actually helped to put you where you are. And he did not just play the role of a supportive husband just so you could use it as a criterion of how much he should love and respect you. Take it from me. No woman on earth, no matter how beautiful, rich, or powerful she is, will ever earn the ultimate respect a man can afford a woman unless she can place a decent meal on a table for him, prepared with her own two hands. You're waking up with this man on a Saturday morning, heading into the kitchen, taking out the mackerel rundown and green bananas that were prepared yesterday, putting them in the microwave oven and going boop, beep, booze, ping, going back in the evening and beep, boop, Ping! before giving him the soup that was prepared on Friday evening. Then beep, boop, ping for the liver and boiled dumpling on Sunday morning. And then the same thing for the rice and peas and chicken on the Sunday afternoon. You getting my point? The minute you leave your office and walk through his door, you are simply his wife. Nothing more, nothing less. That is what he sees. That is what he wants. And I'm not buying this bull manure about you having outsourced this essential part of your wife's responsibility in order to spend more time with him. You did it because you're a failure as a wife. He was comfortable with you at first, but having watched this lady prepare his meal over time opened his eyes to what could have been. Because despite him still loving you, his gravitating towards her was just a matter of time. That is the way things are. It is simply a part of the natural order of things. Let me put it another way. If you were a, a woman, right, who was a stay-at-home wife, for example, right, and you see your husband as a corporate man going out every single day, jacket and tie, big executive, running multinational corporations, earning bags of money, having millions, big in did speech everywhere. But even coming on television, but he cannot fix a light switch. He cannot fix a dripping faucet. He cannot, he doesn't screw in a bulb. He hires a handyman to go around the mansion. Everything you want, you call the handyman. The handyman waters the lawn. He clips the hedges. He comes in, he screws in the light bulbs. He presses if you have any socket need fixing, any plugs, anything wrong with anything, the washing machine, he looks after it. What do you think a woman is going to do? do you as a woman is going to gravitate toward the man who you see around the house doing things. Women gravitate toward men who they see are hands-on, who get their hands dirty, who does a little gardening, who can do the little things around the house that makes her feel... feel um, like a woman, she sees him doing those things, she's automatically drawn to him. So it's just it's the same case where 
the man is there seeing a woman preparing his meals, he is going to be attracted to the woman who is preparing his meals, who is doing the housework. That is how men are. That is how human beings are. Just as the, this, wo wo this woman who is married to the corporate executive, she is going to eventually and naturally develop an attraction for the handyman around the yard. And she's going to start eventually humping his bones. It's normal. It's natural. It's what is the normal, natural order of things. So I don't blame this man. So let me tell you something. The time you spend taking all those academic courses to take you further up the corporate ladder, a portion of that time would have been best spent learning how to be a proper woman, a proper mother, and a proper wife. And it, some of that time should be spent learning how to cook. Also, I'm sorry to be so blunt, but in my humble opinion, any woman who can prepare the best meal for a man deserves to grind him too. Even if he's someone else's husband. Okay? So you want him back? Are you prepared to get up off your lazy butt and go, go learn to cook? Are you really prepared to actually take care of your husband and your children? If not, then you had better learn how to move on with your life. As soon as you have enrolled in cooking class and can prepare very a, f a few great meals, call him over and let him know that you have been up to. He will be more impressed than if you had told him you had acquired another MBA or another PhD. It is not that he begrudges you anything. He simply needs to, needs to know that there is something in what you are achieving that can make him feel like a real husband, like a real man. Is he worth it? Or you can answer that question. The ball's in your court. Bat it well and good luck. But before I go, there's something else I need to say to you. You said in your letter, on the weekends when I'm at home, which means you're not even at home every weekend. So you are not even at home, you're just into your job and climbing the social ladder. You have a separate life away from your family, you know, and that's not how your work is. Second thing, you ask the question, how can I even get, try to get him back when I don't even know exactly what went wrong? How you mean, you know, well... I think I just told you all that went wrong. Even though he wasn't saying anything to you, he was watching you. And it's not all men just talk what they feel. He kept it inside, and when he saw better, he just stepped. Maybe he has been saying it to you and you weren't picking up, I don't know. But he must have said something to you. Or maybe he felt that because you were just climbing the social ladder, and he didn't want to hurt your feelings. He said, make him just leave if you go and climb the social ladder. And him just go and get on with his life. Because maybe he think it's that important to you. And he didn't want you to feel that him begrudge you anything. So him just say, alright, you do you and I'll do me. And then again, the last thing you say, which is quite hurtful, is what I cannot understand is how can a motorcycle mechanic leave an ambitious, intelligent, well-educated, solvent, social climber like myself for the cook. Now you see all the reasons why. That's it. She can cook. She makes him feel like a man. She makes him feel worthwhile. She does the things for him that you cannot do because he sees her as a woman. But he sees you as just a corporate entity. That's all he sees you as. And I think what he wanted most in his life was a woman and a wife. And it's, it's became more and more difficult to see you as such. So that's the reason why. Yeah? So now you understand. Guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.